This morning, Congress frozen and fractured as a leaderless Republican Party searches for a new speaker after an eight-member faction forced the removal of Kevin McCarthy. The Office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. Now the GOP majority scrambling to select his replacement. Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan becoming the first declared candidate. I feel like I can unite the conservative. He'll face off against Louisiana's Steve Scalise, currently the number two House Republican, who survived a gunshot wound in 2017 and is currently battling cancer. I mean, this is really important that we get this right. How are you back to, that we get back to work? Rank and file Republicans still furious at the eight members who joined with all Democrats to depose McCarthy especially his chief antagonist, Florida's Matt Gates. What happened yesterday uh, is literally going to put the American government to a halt until we find a speaker, and that should never happen again at the hands of one lunatic. The eight defending their votes against a speaker they say neither party truly trusted. The problem is that he didn't have credibility on either side of the aisle. He would tell conservatives one thing, moderates another, and Democrats something else. That is not the way to lead our country today. No vote to select a speaker will be held until at least next Wednesday. Wednesday, with most lawmakers going home for the weekend. Some floating unorthodox speaker candidates, including former President Trump, who rejected the idea. A lot of people have been calling me about speaker. My total focus is being president. President Biden telling reporters he's prepared to work with whoever emerges from the chaos with the gavel. We have a lot of work to do, and the American people expect us to get it done.